Let me hear ya. Ooh wah, ooh wah. Let me hear ya. Ooh wah, ooh wah. The one kid in the back's like, ooh wah, ooh wah. I'm like, oh, remix. Ooh wah, boom boom, boom boom, boom boom. And they got their steppers up front and just boom boom, boom boom. Some kid break dancing in the back. <laughs> Breaks out into Irish dancing. We're like, yes, we love the dance genres. Something looked different here. I got my new, if you're keeping up with the videos, I ordered myself a custom softball, baseball, splatter paint jersey with my name on the back. Yes, I did. If I knew baseball, softball jerseys were this comfy, maybe I would have played the sport, but I would have boarded one a lot sooner. They have other designs. Expect to see more of these in the future. Is the tag on it? I'm also drinking the hot coffee. <gasps> if you saw Friday's video, I got burned. I got burned on the Dunkin' new winter seasonal options. So I went back. Now, this time I got a large of the sugar cookie latte thing. It's actually really good. Really, hit the spot. Except when he gave it to me, it was lukewarm. <laughs> Huh? So I heated it up here, which is fine. Cause you know, what's funny about ice coffee. I'm already like such a hater of iced coffee. I get burned <laughs> one too many times. You know, what's funny about iced coffee is that once it's like the ice is melted, there's like a layer of water in there. Yeah. Yeah. You can put more ice in it, but there's already that layer of water. It's already watered down. Hot coffee. You just keep throwing it in the microwave. You just keep heating it back up. I think some of the coffee went to my brain. To the brain and the veins and the coffee. Right to my brain and my veins. Cause I'm feeling it. Cause I'm feeling it. The energy's good. Let's keep up the energy. <laughs> and do another peel box opening. I'm gonna write down uh, the cities and towns and states and countries they come from. Cities, towns, states, countries. The whatever walkway you reside on. Okay, this is from Magenta Polenta. Is that a company name? It ha is that someone's name? Magenta Polenta from a lake. Is it Lakewood? I guess the first letter's taken off. Lakewood, Colorado. It could be Takewood, Bakewood, Cakewood, Colorado. <laughs> Couple of Halloween stamps on the front. Love that. Wakewood, Takewood, Bakewood, Shakewood. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I see something colorful in here right off the bat. Open sesame! Oh! Is this some art on the front? Hey, happy spooky season, Christine, from Shell Bell. It's a little piece of art. Does this unfold? Some art right on top. Wow. Art reminds me of a CD cover art that I used to put on in my parents' living room I used to dance to. It was like this wacky looking CD. Oh my gosh, I have to go dig for it. I don't even know who the band was. We got some Halloween spooky stickers. Little skeleton guy. Okay, they have some orange mysterious paper. Ooh. From my head to oh, and we got some bubble wrap. Bubble, bubble, bubble wrap. What's in here? Oh, whoa, whoa! What are these? A little spooky skeleton or pump skeleton pumpkins? <laughs> whoa! Do you make these? That, this one's scary as hell. Focus. Oh my gosh! The way that that just came into focus. Those are scary, creepy. You know what I was just saying on the Patreon? That I put uh, these decorations in Alloy's pot, but I'm putting these in here next year. Sp oh my gosh, we gotta change up the vibe. This is to happy, jolly, happy Halloween. This is like, BAM! You better carve this pumpkin and do it nicely because we're gonna give you nightmares. The one kind of looks like the fish from Finding Nemo. Do you know what I'm talking about? Is that the right movie? Are these ghosts? Oh my God, cute. Oh, <laughs> look at the face on <laughs> There's like a lazy eye. <laughs> me when I take my first sip of coffee and it hits the spot. Oh! Me when I can't hear them at the drive through window and I'm asking them to speak a little louder. I, uh, what? What was that? I could see in the peripheral that my lazy eye was off. <laughs> These are great. Wait, is there no note? All I got was a happy holidays. Wait, does this open up? Or is this just art on both sides? It looks like there's something written right here, does it not? It just says shell bell. Okay, thank you so much. These are great. These are going in Alloy's pot next year. For sure. They're going in his box of goodies. I keep all of his outfits in his pot decorations in a box. Thank you, Magenta Polenta. Lakewood, Takewood, Bakewood, Shakewood, Colorado. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google which one it is so I can put it on the peel box. <laughs> Let's, okay, let's open this because this package. I thought it was staples sticking out here, but it has poked me several times. I believe it's like earring backings, but they're, they've they've busted through the other side of this, and I've already been stabbed multiple times. This is from Abby, Trinity, Alabama. Trinity, Alabama. I don't think I could ever work in the post office because they'd be like, this girl just keeps singing all the town names every time she sees a package and it passes over her desk. She just sings the town name. New Orleans. New York City. <laughs> Please make it stop or make it a, a no talking policy. Let's see what's been stabbing me in here this whole time. Could you glue it to the bottom? We gotta open up. It's a box cutter. Shut 
Oh, cute. Oh, these are adorable. Look how classic and timeless these are. Little leaves, little pumpkins, little cups of coffee. And that's a hot coffee. I must just put this in my mouth. <laughs> hot coffee to match my coffee. Listen, my earrings fell off in the car today. I lost one of the backings. So I had to take them out this morning. We're, pu we're putting these little coffee earrings in. Now that I'm on my hot coffee game, I need hot coffee earrings. This package arrived just in time. Oh, it's raining outside. Or it has been. How did I not notice it was raining? Whoops. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh uh, yeah. The leaf ones are really cute too. Imported from Maine. I have a High School Musical song stuck in my head. My fat ear, okay. <laughs> okay, this is a little bookmark. It says to the stars who listen. Oh my God, it's from Akatar. Akatar, the book series. You can tell this was homemade. I'm thinking watercolor. I see a silver Sharpie marker. I like how you think. I like the colors. I like the white border. Great quote, little string on top. Perfection. <laughs> You get it. She she knows how to decorate a bookmark. Put it on her resume. Dear Christine, look at this handwriting. Look how clear, precise. Even this far away, you can clearly tell where the words are. And it's in purple, my favorite color. Dear Christine, to be honest, I have no clue what I will write in this letter, but here I go. My name is Abby. I've been a first grade teacher for the last four years. Now I'm a reading coach at my school. A reading coach? You can do it, Bobby, sound it out. Basketball, basketball, you know. And the gym class, you probably, I've, I've heard you yell, let's go play basketball a thousand times. You can't read it? Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna coach you to this teacher over here. <laughs> uh, thank you for being a teacher. Oh my gosh, that's not an easy job. I had the hardest time reading when I was younger. I could read, but I would get stuck on words. Like I would just keep reading the same word. So my teacher had to make this thing where you could only see one line of a book and she would just constantly move it down the book. Like she would move it down the page for me so that she kept up with my pace of reading. It was a whole thing, but I love reading. You can literally as a reading coach or a teacher that helps kids read, like you can literally shape the rest of their life if they like you know, casual reading. I mean, like reading is such a powerful thing to teach. I am married and have a beautiful, silly, wild son named Henry. Love those adjectives. I grew up in upstate New York. Now I live in Alabama. That's a difference, is it not? I love watching your videos as last year has been full of transitions with moving to a new state, new job, and a new house. Wow, you got a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. Your videos have brought me so much joy. You feel like a kindred spirit. Your positive attitude is contagious. Your without a recipe videos are my favorite. You should try to make a cheesecake. We made an eggnog cheesecake. If you haven't seen that episode, watch that episode. We can try and make a different cheesecake. Um, I just made a birthday cake for my mother-in-law and it was a mess throughout the whole thing. It turned out fine, but it made me think of your videos. I am a crafter. I crochet, embroider, make earrings and paint. What are you, a quadruple threat and you're a wife and a mother and a homeowner? Wow. Jeez, got a lot going on. Um, I love to make things. <laughs> I hope that you like the fall earrings and the Akatar bookmark. Of course I do. Can't write a letter without at least one mistake. She crossed out a bunch of stuff. It looks like it says, you are the biggest jerk I've ever, nope. <laughs> Are you reading any good books right now? Question mark. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being who you are. I hope you know what a big influence you have. Thank you again, your friend, Abby. That's, I thought there was something. Like that. Yours, that's so stinking nice. Am I reading any good books right now? No. <laughs> I keep uh, checking them out from the library and then not reading them and then returning them late. Oh, I'm one of those people. They're gonna, they're gonna start handing out fines. They're not even gonna let me walk in the place. There's three books sitting on my dresser. They're all big, hunkin', chunkin' books. I have yet to start any of them. One's part of a series. One's like Sylvia Plath's journals, something like that. I've, I've always, I've wanted to read that book for a long time. It is such a daunting book to look at. I don't know if I could commit to that. So no, I'm not reading any books right now, but I love the book that Mark that you sent me. I'm still currently actively wearing earrings. So you got me there. Thank you for the letter. Thank you for watching the videos. I wish you the best of luck. It sounds like you're already doing good with the new job, new place, new state, but I hope that keeps going good. That's all very exciting stuff. You just need like a second to breathe. This will be your first holiday in the new house and the new job and the... <sighs> you just gotta get through the rest of the year. <laughs> Reading will come back in the cycle of hobbies. Give it a second. This looks like a wedding invitation. Got enough of these. I could, I could spot it a mile away. Nice little cover art, two-toned envelope, two names on the front, cute little stamp on the back. Very important. <laughs> Carly and Ryan. You have a very fun last name, Ryan. Maryland, how do we even open this? Oh, and I'm too dumb to figure it out. Some of y'all spend a lot of money on your wedding invitations and then you get people like me and they're like, damn it, I know they're getting married, but I can't get in here to figure out when. <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, back up, I got it. Oh, I see a personal. No the trifold out. Y'all ain't seen that before. We kindly invite you to join the celebration. Oh my gosh, I missed it. <laughs> Whoopsies! I hope it was a fantastic wedding. It was in Edgemere, Maryland. Edgemere? Kinda sounds like a sneeze. <gasps> Edgemere, Maryland. <laughs> well, 
you know, it was, it was a reception with the drinks to follow. I hope it was a fantastic time. I really feel like it was. I feel deep down. You probably had a nice little time. Where did you get this type of paper? It's like almost a scroll length, skinny paper, light, damn near see-through. I'm glad that you guys let me indulge in my love for paper. Paper gets me. And I get paper. Like, where did, like, you don't just have paper this size laying around. Did you cut it? It kind of looks like there's like a little bit of a cut on the edge. So, did you cut it from a poster board? Or were you remaking the Declaration of Independence and you just, you had too much extra paper, so you cut out a chunk? Some of y'all are gonna start writing me notes on scraps of paper, and I love that as well. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, that looks like. It was half of a doctor's note. She had a case of the blues and she stayed home. <laughs> First off, I wanted to say thank you for the unlimited laughs you have provided me. Unlimited laughs, that's so nice. I drive. You're such a genuine person. I love that you are so vul vul vulnerable. See, Tr reading. Vulnerable with us goobers. <sighs> Smiley face. I absolutely love watching your videos and they have become a staple in my week. When I heard you were creating a Patreon, I got so excited. I've never signed up for something so fast in my life. Obviously, Baltimore is a hop, skip, and a jump from you. So def not expecting you to come to our wedding. But just knowing you have our wedding invitation is so cool to me. Christine, breathe. I'm like literally... Blah, 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 blah. Um, I was going to send you save the dates earlier this year, but your girl is so forgetful. And it got away from me and now it is a little too late for save the dates. <laughs> No, I think it'd be so funny if someone sent me their wedding invitation from like seven years ago. <laughs> I didn't even have a career back then. <laughs> I was in college. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Ah, where did I? I lost my place. I know you like pics of the bride and groom on the invites, but unfortunately I used all the good ones on the save the dates. Oh, sad face. That is supposed to be the smiley crying emoji, but I obviously can't draw. So any hooser. I actually wrote any hooser. I didn't even know we spell it like that. Any hooser. If you want to see the pictures that I used for the save the dates, I'll put my Insta below. Thank you for uh, being you. And I got the Insta. Yo, 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 yo. From Carly. Love that. Thank you for being on the Patreon. Congrats on your wedding. Even though I missed it, I'm sure it was great. We can all reminisce on the hypothetical past that I wasn't a part of, but I, I'm assuming it all went well. And I love that you put your Instagram. You're like, I know you like pictures on the invitations. I know you. You like paper. You like the thick paper with the fun stuff. I know you. I'll put my Instagram down below you can you can check them out and I will you know what the writing I can see writing on the ins is did you write on the inside of the envelope is that what I'm seeing okay it's from Hooper Utah fantastic town name Hooper I want that on a shirt I just want to say Hooper and then the drawing of the state of Utah it's like someone saying like wow are you tall Hooper Utah giddy up <laughs> I can't tell if your little first name is the name looks like N I and then numbers but I'm sure uh, my mouth fart <laughs> About I'm thinking, Poop Hooper, Utah. It might be Nikki. The K's written so close together kind of look like fours. Okay, I'm going with Nikki. Or your name is NI44. Did write on the top of the envelope. Read on camera if you want. We're doing it. Thank you, did you make your own thank you card? Where'd you get that shade of purple? Let a girl know, thank you, Christine. You're welcome. I didn't do nothing. A folded note, like we're back in junior high. Okay, look at all the multiple pens. Dear Christine, damn it, pen, ink, went out. <laughs> the very first, right after the deer, we had to switch to a different pen. Hi, my name is Nikki. Confirmed, Nikki. I am a newly middle-aged, a newly middle-aged woman. <gasps> when I turn 30, I'm gonna say I'm a newly 30. Great way to present your age. I'm a newly middle-aged woman, just turned 40. See? And oof! Just kidding, it's not that bad. I've been meaning to write a note for a while now and thank you for the content. I can tell you enjoy handwritten letters. Here's hoping you can read my handwriting, laughy face. I'm doing my best. You see how I'm kind of bent over with the light hitting? I need maximum light. Oh my God, like a true elder millennial, I am uncomfortable expressing myself without the use of emojis. So please enjoy my analog drawings. And then she did the shrug one. She gave the smiley face arms. When you read letters from followers, I notice a theme. People just adore you and many discuss how you help them with depression, anxiety. They say, thank you for being you and never change. I completely agree. And I notice this magic difference when I watch your videos. It's like getting a cheerful message from a bestie. What is it that you do that helps so many viewers? It's so many reasons, but ultimately I believe it's because you're found your true calling and you use this gift to help others have a better day. You're super talented. <laughs> I'm breathing heavy because I'm... <laughs> too many compliments you're super talented in comedy speaking impressions speaking impressions speaking and speaking of impressions cooking without a recipe <laughs> i'm super good at cooking without a recipe quoting epic movies in your regular conversation laughing in a contagious manner writing editing and you're generous in sharing you these talents crap continued on a janky notebook paper that you folded page two i ran out of room okay how do we open this I didn't, never used to fold them like this. Do we pop out? I wanna rip it. Is it, get out of there. We used to just, oh my God. We used to fold it so it was like, 
like a little football. How many different pet? Okay, continued. And since this letter is already chaotic AF, let's just switch up the ink one more time. Pretend there is a clown emoji there. <laughs> It's like a Mad Libs with emojis. Fill in your own emojis. Anyways, you are also reliable in sharing these talents. I love how reliable you are in your work and in your posting schedule, though we aren't necessarily entitled to this. You are so consistent. You're devoted to your viewers and true to yourself. I just wanted to say, damn it, are you kidding me? This pen too. <laughs> you can see you're like pressing so hard with the ink because it's running out. Thank you for the incredible content for your consistency and for your kindness and love to your viewers. We all love you back. And I know these are only words, but your channel is evidence of how powerful words and writing can be, even especially, even especially the occasional swears. Those are kind of my fave. Lots of love and chugs. Hugs. <laughs> Love and chugs. <laughs> me, just, me just downing coffee. Loves hugs and chugs. Love a bestie, Nikki Hooper, Utah. P.S. I truly am so sorry for the chaotic, traumatic reading experience this letter caused. Cringy emoji. <laughs> We had to end it on an emoji. Honestly, another fantastic letter writer. I love, I've never had anybody write in so many emojis. You're a great letter writer. I love the chaoticness of the multiple pens. I don't mind it at all. I love that I had to unfold one letter and pop this one open. That's my style. I love a little chaos in my letters. Thank you so much, Nikki, also known as NI44. <laughs> so many compliments, especially on the my schedule, the schedule of content I put out. Listen, the Monday Fridays is not easy. I will admit it's hard to... <laughs> get going on it myself um but i i also need to keep myself on a schedule because otherwise nothing would, would get done the creative mind it needs to be scheduled we need to put ideas down into video form and then edit it and then put out on the internet that needs to get done on a regular basis otherwise it won't get done at all <laughs> but thank you for the compliments the complicated letter i'll take it <laughs> thank you sounds like sounds like candy to me to christine chapped lip snaps I'm sorry, did you just call me out in front of the whole entire postal system? You put it in a gold packaging, so it looks like the golden ticket at the post office, and then you label it Christine Chapped Lips Snaps. You gonna call me out like that? You gonna have me picking up my packages at the post office and I'm like, fucking chappy. I'm going, I'm looking at my P.O. box as I'm opening this little tiny box. Post woman just appears, she's like, I need some of that. I'm like, what? C Cove, Texas. Am I missing a letter? C Cove, D Cove, B Cove, Z Cove. Okay, sure. Okay, there better be chapstick in here then. You gonna call me out and then not put chapstick in here? We'll just see about that. You just put stuff in here that makes your ch lips chapped. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what those are, but you just do the opposite. Why is it, it smells like raspberry and bubble gum. <laughs> sure, ballistics right on top. And that's what I'm talking about. Two pack, three pack, two, three, it's three. I just saw the number. Ooh, we got some orange crunchy paper in here. Like the perfect color. It looks like a carrot. Like a shredded carrot. <gasps> there is candy in here. This is what smells. Ghost pepper ru Ghost pepper roulette. Chilling cherry, ghoulish grape, and a ghost pepper sour punch, kids? Ghost pepper. Why, 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 why are we making candy like that? Why, I've never even seen that before. They got candy like that in Texas? That's what was smelling. I got a good sniff around me. Here's the note. What's this? Dill pickle, sour patch bites. Pi Where are you getting your candy from? You know someone that works there. Are these all the experimental flavors. You could get apple or lemon lime or pickle flavored sour punch things. Okay, well we have to try them, but I'm not too happy about it. Christine, I enjoy your unboxings and your never have I ever's. I'm not rich enough to send you my favorite chap lip product, pink Laneige mask, a, ma a lip mask. You don't have to. Here's my close, affordable second. Plus, stuff for your humor similar, plus stuff for our humor similar to yours. Cooperas Cove, Texas. No, it's not close to the coast. Cooperas. Why'd you put Sea Cove? Or co cop Copperas. Copperas Cove. Oh, you know me. I work down at Copperas Cove. It's not near the coast, nor do we have copper, but it's called Copperas Cove. You know, because <laughs> it's coveted. <laughs> See what I did there? Cove, coveted. That was a stretch. <laughs> Thank you for the package. Did you even put your name on here? No. You're just forever known as Sea Cove? Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the chapstick. I appreciate it. And I need it. I have redispersed my chapstick throughout my office, car, bathroom, and room. And my nightstand. So I'm prepared. I'm prepared for the chap lips. Never ever seen Sour Punch do experimental, like, goofy flavors. Is the plant down there? Like, how do you have access to these? That's why you're not giving us your name, because you said, I've got experimental candy you can't find nowhere else. That's not fair. They're all the same damn color. 
That one's good. And apple. Yeah, my options are apple, lemon. Why does it have the faint taste of pickle? That's like an apple. I don't know how strong the pickle taste is supposed to be, but all these have an aftertaste of pickle. Why? Even if you like pickles, this is not a fun treat. You're either getting fruit, 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 or pickle. Listen, even if you like pickles, if you're not ready for the taste of pickles, it's, it's, it's not, it's, people enjoy that? Is that the pickle one? Oh, it's the smallest, uh, most shriveled up one in the pack. Who is eating it? Look how goofy the damn, looks like a cucumber first of all in the package. Look how goofy that damn pickle looks. Go no, get in the package. He's like, did you try one? Yes, damn pickle candy. And then one of these is a ghost pepper. So again, my flavors are like blue, cherry, grape, or a ghost pepper. This thing reeks of grape. They can't give you a little bit of hint about which one it is. I mean, what does ghost pepper even taste like? How many of these are ghost pepper? That's a good answer. Oh, we'll find the damn ghost pepper. Is my mouth kind of burning? It feels like something in the back. This quadrant of my tongue, it feels like a little hot, but it's not enough. That's Is that what a ghost pepper is? Like it's not enough. <sighs> oh shit. <sighs> the last one? All right, I don't know, you know. <laughs> I put every single one. Couldn't, couldn't exactly find the ghost pepper. Listen, if you're gonna try that candy, none of them actually taste like ghost pepper, so there's that. I'm glad I could bite the bullet for everyone. <laughs> Country roads, take me home to a place I belong. <laughs> West Virginia. <laughs> what is this? My mama, take me. He's trying to sing through the. <laughs> you see that little fuzzy that popped up out of there? I hate the little fuzzies on the side of the package. He jumped out of there. Just try and sing through the whole package. Country road, take me home. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the laughs. You are such a joy and I love your gift of gab. Enjoy these Gilmore Girls sticky notes. <gasps> By the way, I'm from Suffolk. Suffolk? Suffolk? Suff, Suff, Suffolk, Virginia, from Michelle. This one says, also saw the sarcasm, iron on patch. I relate to it so much. <laughs> this sarcasm just another free service i provide sarcasm am i a sarcastic person i can't tell like whenever i think about like what sarcasm is i don't think i'm sarcastic but then i'm like am i and i just don't know it is that like <laughs> could that be possible that i am and i just don't understand that i am life's short talk fast love that and it opens up oh, they got the chinese food a cup of coffee dragonfly in chilton <gasps> Excuse me, these are Luke's coffee cup post-it notes. And then the star's hollow sign. This is such a cute little booklet. Thank you so much for this stuff. And honestly, if you haven't, I forget how good the first season of Gilmore Girls is. It's like 20 something episodes, 22. You get all the way through it and then you're like, holy cow, I kept checking my Netflix thing and I was like, this has gotta be what season four we're in? Season one. They put so much happens in season one and they really build out the world. You guys have seen it, it's great. Okay. This is from Sarah, Scottsdale, Arizona. Doesn't Scottsdale, Arizona have really good golfing? Or did I completely make that up? Do I even know what I'm talking, have I ever heard anyone talk about Scottsdale, Arizona for golfing? No, I just feel like they would have good golfing. Sarah, get back to me, let me know. <laughs> Are these dog treats? It's a crochet kit. It's a cup of coffee crochet. Cute, is it for beginners? Step-by-step -step videos, that's what we need. That's what, meet your next hobby, love that. Yeah, I'm a visual learner. I'm in my cross stitch era right now. I have several kits. I have like felting, needlepoint, crochet kits. I have everything. I'm literally looking at the bin. I have a waffle maker. I can see the bin of crafts over there. I'm in my cross stitch era, but I will soon move on. <laughs> I gotta figure out what everyone's, um, I was gonna say Halloween presents, Christmas presents are gonna be, and that'll decide which hobby I get into next. Cause I might have to go back to sewing to make some sewing stuff, um, but love that. What kind of paper is this? Oh, this is like notebook paper you ripped out. I could spot this a mile away. You put the date you sent it, fantastic, and then you put your birthday, it was 1010. Oh my gosh, happy belated birthday. Hiya, Christine, my name is Sarah and I'm a soon to be 30 year old from Scottsdale, Arizona. Well, by this time you are 30 year old and happy belated 30th birthday. Um, hometown is Tuscan, Arizona. It'd be so funny if she was like, great for golfing. <laughs> I'm also a fellow goober of the Patreon, woo woo. You know how much I like you because this is now the second thing I've sent to you through the PO box. That is true. I've We've definitely gotten stuff from Scottsdale, Arizona, but I don't think I remarked about the golf the first time. Back in 2020, I sent you a stuffed animal, Javelina, Javelina. You opened it with your mom, 204 timestamp <laughs> on the video. Wait, this uh, gave you a stuffed animal, Javelina. 
I have the stuffed animal on my bed. It's a really good headrest. Like it's stuffed just enough. It's super, I use it as a headrest sometimes. Thank you. <laughs> for four years ago? Holy cow. You and I are very close in age and had we gone to the same high school, we would have graduated together. I feel like you, we would have... That ghost pepper, like there is a ghost pepper flavor in my mouth now. And it's scaring me because I feel like the ghost part of the pepper means it's going to sneak up on me from behind. Ooh, and bop me in the back of the head. <laughs> Fight through it. I feel like we would have been high school buddies, the athlete and the band nerd. Maybe that would be a cute sitcom. My hand is already cramping and it shows, lol. <laughs> and then you wrote on the back and crossed it out. Onto a new page. Any hooser! Why does everyone keep saying any hooser? Do I say that a lot? You mentioned recently you, hold on, you stapled, wanted to learn how to crochet, but you felt like you need some video instructional human instruction, not just reading instructions. Well, I do, I have news for you. This company called The Woobles makes these kits to make a little stuffed thing and they come with video tutorials. I started crocheting in 2021. I was going through a hard time and wanted something to keep my mind busy. I grew up watching my grandma crochet and figured it was a great hobby to keep her alive in my heart. She passed away in December of 2021. So sorry to hear that, but I love that you're like, up hobbies that she did. I love, my grandma is so darn crafty. She has always ignited my fire for being creative and crafty. And she's always had her hand in everything, painting, crocheting, stitching, cross stitching, sewing. She's amazing. Your grandma sounds like she was amazing too. Three years later and I am still crocheting. I love that. I'm not the best, but honestly, I don't care. I do it for fun. Yeah, who cares? Uh, I got you a packet from the Wobbles to get started. It comes with everything you need. I did open it just to make sure. <laughs> I did open it just any, any user, any user. Of course, I had to get you the coffee mug one. I love that. Even more motivation to make it because I want a cute little coffee mug that I made. I hope you find the time to relax, turn on a podcast and crochet. You get me. I always find it therapeutic once I get the hang of it. Thank you for being you. I look forward to your videos and very regularly on the Christine Snaps binges of your videos. They call me and make me smile. Best, and you wrote, looks like you wrote sadly instead of Sarah. <laughs> My hand is shaking now. I never write anymore. <laughs> best Sarah the desert rat PS pizza lunchables are the best lunchables and I will die on my hill protecting them I still eat them to this day that video was a hoot and a hit thank you so much for the letter thank you for being on the patreon we will do the crochet kit I will put it in the box of crafts and it will go in there as soon as I get my mind off the cross stitching I got the cross stitching bug it bit me ah! and I'm into it there's a little velcro part of this this velcro's up so what oh my gosh you don't have to button it you can just ah! I, I'm gonna buy seven of these jerseys. This is from Erica. More riches, New York. More riches. I, I'm not even gonna say more riches, because it's not. Erica, you sent me stuff plenty of times. We always go back and forth in the comments about me saying the city name wrong. It's more riches, everybody. And I'll die on that hill, because now I know. Oh, no, you didn't. Look at all the string. What? Speaking of cross stitching, look at all this thread. Wait, is this for making friendship bracelets? Because you've sent me some in the past. I think I literally have one of your friendship bracelets on. I think it's the splatter paint one you sent me. Can you see? Good Lord, I need to stretch before. Can you see? Color books, coloring books, <laughs> kaleidoscope. Oh my gosh, mandalas. Friendship bracelets 101. Friendship bracelets 102. Back to back books. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at all the patterns you could learn. Hey, Christine, it's your pal for more riches. How are you? <laughs> Good. Like I write, wrote in my last letter, your videos help me when I'm at dialysis. I was cracking up when you opened my letter. I forgot what I wrote in that letter. <laughs> I found coloring books and pages. I saw your Pedro Pascal shirt and figured you might want to have some things with him. Stickers, coloring books, and bookmarks. I also am sending two bracelet books. The pattern for the rag rug pattern bracelet I sent in the last letter and some embroidery floss. I hope you enjoyed the rag rug pattern is from a book. Klutz friendship bracelets. Enjoy this font is comic sans. One of my favorite. Keep on being you and making such fun videos. A fellow goober Erica. Oh my God. Pedro Pascal bookmark. You printed them out. Keep reading, babe. <laughs> Just one more chapter, sweetheart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pedro Pascal, if you're watching, I got your sticker, babe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we can color in pictures of him. <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny that you printed those out. <laughs> that's the best. Thank you. Look at all this floss. Is this for friendship bracelets or is this for crochet? Like, am I, do I not know the difference? Is this just paper? Oh, thanks for the paper. Look at all this type of floss. Holy cannoli. Did you buy all this? This adds up. Thank you so much. Wow, look at the neon pink. I just was at the store. I actually need one of these colors to finish my, cro my cross stitching project. Maybe it's in here. I will have to color match. Then we got a bunch of stickers. Got a cow. Are you printing your own stickers? How'd you get so many of these? I know the characters are fictional, but the emotional damage that causes is real. <laughs> Someone mentions my favorite character, me. Yeah, I love them a normal amount. <laughs> 
I was initially planning on being a casual fan, but then I thought, why not just let it consume my soul instead? <laughs> These are such detailed quotes. <laughs> Waking up every day is just like, good morning sun, good morning sky, good morning ever-growing festering pit of primordial rage inside of me. Good morning birds. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm old enough to be my age. If that ain't the damn truth. <laughs> oh, it's like a make your own bookmark thing? Okay, here we go. Already cut out bookmarks. Some of them have a hole punch in them for all the strings you sent. Oh! Erica, thank you so much for the package and the letters as always and the stickers and the Pedro Pascal printouts are so funny. I do like him. <laughs> Hopefully uh, dialysis and all that stuff is going good. We're on the up and up. We're keeping our spirits up. Take a break from sending me stuff. I feel so bad. I feel like you always send me friendship bracelets. You're always getting the most stuff done. You're sending the letters and the friendship bracelets and the stuff and you go, here's a craft, you do it now. Okay, this feels like a hat or a piece of fabric. Amazon. It's another one of these splatter paint pillowcases. Split. It matches my. Is this the same damn fabric? It just might be. What the hell? I'm looking for something that looks a little bit like this. <laughs> I love that. I think I got one of these in the last peel box, but now I have two matching pillows. That's called a set, and that'll look nice on a couch one day. Dear Miss Snaps, your hard work is appreciated. I truly look forward to your videos as you always have me laughing. Wishing you nothing but great health, wealth, love, and happiness from Andrea from the Bay Area, California. Listen, I know these Amazon people only give you like 140 characters. You you were working these 140 characters. Great health, wealth, health, love, and happiness. You should write greeting. You should write Christmas cards. That's what everyone wants on a Christmas card. Love that. Thank you so much for the pillowcase. Okay, this just looks like Amazon. Sometimes you guys repurpose the boxes, so I gotta make sure <laughs> if it's ever from Amazon. That's you guys. Okay. Uh, look at that. Oh, what's this? Does this say floss? Floss for adults? Who's sending me floss? <laughs> I must have the biggest teeth in the world. Fr free floss? Gosh, it's to make one of those macrame? Macrame catches wall hanger? Some of it got in my nose. I snuffed it up. <gasps> That's what we're supposed to be making. A macrame cactus wall hanger? I've never even thought of this as a craft. How do you even do that? Finish all the parts. Well, that's step thir 12. Whoa. Whoa. Bunch of numbers on that one. Okay. Oh, you have to weave it in and out. Wow, that's gonna take me a second. Okay, okay. Put it in the craft bin. I got crafts coming out the wazoo. What's this? What's that? La 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 la. Cactus kitchen and brother. Okay, we just gotta, sometimes you just gotta open it up. I'll be trying to look for labels and whatnot. Is this an apron? Oh, that's very cute. Look at that clad. It's like a raining cactus apron. Doesn't really go with the splatter paint, but I see the vision. You can barely see that I'm wearing pants now, but <laughs> this is a very cool apron. Never see, again, you guys find cactus print that I've never even seen before. Amazon doesn't even recommend me cactus things because they know I have it all. I love your baking videos. When I saw this, I thought of you. You're my all-time favorite YouTuber. My nickname is TT. If you notice me, hope you'll say hi uh, from Diana, Rosenberg, Oregon. Yeah, TT, I see you all the time on the videos and the comments. Yes. And on the Patreon. Thank you for making me laugh out loud whenever I'm down or sad. All I have to do is turn on your channel and let it run. I hope all your dreams come true. Oh my gosh, that's a tall order, Diana. Thank you so much. Yes. Ooh. Ah. I like how it's like a black apron. You really never see like a black apron. They're always white, which I don't get because you have to bleach the crap out of them. Cactus macrame? That sounds like macaroon. I'm making macaroons with my apron and I'm doing my macrame in the dining room. I feel like we should end on this. It just hit me in the face. Did you see that? This is one of the widest, widest packages we've ever gotten. It's gotta be art, right? It has to be. Or it's like a glued together, done, finished puzzle. It's from Margo. Pearlin, Texas, Pearlin, Texas. We've gotten stuff there from before. Was it from Margo? I can't remember off the top of my head, but the town sounds familiar. How do we even open it up? We just start from the top? Okay, first layer. Now it's just a cardboard. <laughs> Ooh, something's moving around in there. I'm like doing like surgery. I see Bucky's snacks. That's what's rolling around in beaver nuggets. Let's see, salted caramel was my favorite. I ate the whole package. Oh, dog treats. Riley will be pleased. Soft and chewy peanut buttery bites. Oh, is it just a picture frame? Do I need to be framing something that I don't know about? With a love from Texas on it. <laughs> I got a whole, I guess I get to frame whatever I want. Magnetic chalk. It's a chalkboard. Oh. <gasps> 
magnetic chalkboard. Because a little style goes a long way. Shut up, I thought it was a picture frame. It's not. Didn't you ever see when some kids were young and their parents were really cool and chill, they would let them paint the one whole room, one whole wall of the room a chalkboard? And it was always dusty, but it was so cool. I thought it was a picture frame. This is even better. Something else fell out. What's this? Is this a roll of stickers? Oh, they say thank you. I could use thank you stickers. This one's from The Office. Dwight, you intelligent man. <laughs> Follow your dreams. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. My goodness. Are we emptying the dishwasher or are we taking over a company? Oh, you got a good variety of stickers. It doesn't matter how slow you go as long as you don't stop. These are all very motivational. This one says, let's get this bread. <laughs> Okay. Hi, it's me again. I wanted you to know I appreciate you. You have said in your videos that you want to make people laugh. You do exactly that. From people watching to bake with no recipe and everything in between. I've collected fridge magnets over the years from places I visited. Then it morphed into asking people to bring me one from where they are going. I've gotten one from Greece, Paris, Jamaica, also Route 66 and Australia. Any hooser? Oh, this one says any who, not any hooser, any who. I thought it would be cool for you to have a magnetic board and people could send you one from where they are. I attempt to write on the back who and when got them. I sent Alabama because that is where I was born and raised and then lived. It says love from Texas. You said Alabama. I sent Alabama because that's where I was born and raised and then lived in Colorado for a few years before coming to Texas 16 years ago. I'm looking, it says, it says love from Texas. <laughs> That's even funnier. Anyway, I just turned 52. My words of wisdom to you and others, if you read this in your video, is if there is something you want to do, somewhere you want to go, do it. That was in all caps, so she's serious. Learn that musical instrument, learn another language. Christine, I'm proud of you for doing what you love. I'm sure it's a struggle at times, but you are rocking it. I'm a lunch lady, so I get summers off. I've started over the last couple of years to take road trips and explore random places. I would love to come and people watch with you. Just hang in the car, eat snacks, and let the inner goobers out. I've enclosed snacks for you and Riley if you let me know which Bucky snacks your family liked. I will be happy to send them some. <laughs> I like the sea salt ones. Thank you for all you do. P.S. I have the same skillet that was on your stove in your Friday video. Is it the red skillets or is it the black skillets? I only use like the red ones. Uh, the like the red tan ones. Margo. P.S. The purple dots on the magnets is where I lived. I'm gonna... We're gonna search for that darn Alabama <laughs> magnet that's around here somewhere. Margo, thank you so much for the package. That's so nice. I really appreciate it. I thought it was a picture frame. I thought there was art coming. The walls are getting full. No, it's a magnetic chalkboard. And I have chalk in my room. Or you get those damn, someone sent me one of those like chalkboard pens. The P.O. Box giveth and the P.O. Box surpriseth. Surpriseth. Surprises you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the letters, the packages, the stickers, the trickery candy. Ooh, I'm burping up that damn hell of pickle pepper. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching the videos. Please, please like, subscribe. If you want to check out the Patreon, coming out very soon, if not out already, the November Goober Tier monthly exclusive video. It's something I've never done before. So it's, it's a mini competition I did in the woods. Take with what those words you will. Have a fantastic weekend. Try some hot coffee. If you're a diehard iced coffee fan, Give hot coffee a try. We gotta switch it up sometimes, okay? Sometimes bears go into hibernation during the winter time, and sometimes I switch over to hot coffee. Not because it's cold, because I'm sick of the iced coffee. I'm sick of the flavors. I'm sick of, of drinking coffee out of a see-through cup. I don't wanna see the coffee anymore. <laughs> Imagine they're like doing a Duncan like marketing test promoting like what's that called like a, a case study and they're like what's the switch why all of a sudden do you like hot coffee I'm like I'm tired of seeing it I don't want to see the coffee they're like you don't have to drink it at all I'm like I I I, I love caffeine I need a reason to leave my house <laughs> I don't want to hold a cup anymore that has condensation running down the side of it okay because that's condescending to me okay bye. <laughs>